howdy ho, good neighbor. Today, I'm doing it again. That's right, for the third time, I'm gonna quit sugar and pins. And I'll, you know sugar is a drug, so I'm quitting drugs for 40 days. That's right, so 40 days is a long time. And what gets me through it last time and this time and the time before, hopefully this time, is a purpose-driven life. Let me put on my eyes and uh, let me see if I can read this to you here. How about that? I don't read a lot and I probably should, but the purpose-driven life. Dictation. This book is dedicated to you. Before you were born, God planned this moment in your life. It was no accident that you were holding this book. God longs for you to discover the life he created you to live here on earth and forever in eternity. It is in Christ that we find out who we are and what we are living for. Long before we first heard of Christ, he had his eye on us, had designed uh, us for glorious living, part of the overall purpose he is working out in everything and everyone. Asophonides 1.11. Introduction. This is more than a book. It is a guide to a 40 day spiritual journey that you will enable, that will enable you to discover the answer to life's most important questions. What on earth am I here for? By the end of this journey, you will know God's purpose for your life and will understand the bigger picture. How? all the pieces in your life fit together. Having this perspective will reduce your stress, simplify your decisions, increase your satisfaction, and most important, prepare you for eternity. Your next 40 days. Take this average lifespan of 25,550 days that's how long you will live if you are typical. Don't you think it would be wise of time to set aside 40 of those days to figure out what God wants to do with your rest of them? The Bible is clear that God considers 40 days a spiritual significant time period. Whenever God wanted to prepare someone for his purpose, he took 40 days. Noah's life was transformed by 40 days of rain. Moses was transformed by 40 days of Mount Sinai. The spies were transformed by 40 days in the promised land. David was transformed by 40. David was transformed by Goliath's 40 day challenge. Elijah was transformed when God gave him 40 days of strength from a single meal. The entire city of Nevah was transformed when God gave the people 40 days to change. Jesus was empowered by 40 days in the wilderness. The disciples were transformed by 40 days with Jesus after his resurrection. The next 40 days will transform your life. This book is divided into 40 brief chapters. I strongly urge you to read one chapter a day so you will have time to think about the implications of your life. The Bible says, let God transform you into a new person by challenging, oh, by changing the way you think. Then you will know what God wants you to do. Romans 12.2. So this is my day one with no sugar and no pins and uh, no drugs. No alcohol. Hallelujah, Jesus. Day one. I got to read these one a day for 40 days. And you don't know how long 40 days is until you try to do just one day. Yeah, anyway, let me just read day one. 
It all starts with God. Verse to remember. For everything, absolutely everything above and below, visible and invisible, everything got started in Him and finds its purpose in Him. Colossians 1.16 It's not about you. The purpose of your life is far greater than your own personal fulfillment. Your peace of mind or even your happiness is far greater than your family, your career, or even your wildest dreams and ambitions. If you want to know why you are placed on this planet, you must begin with God. You were born by His purpose and for His purpose. Well, there's day one out of day 40. So, I've done it once. I've done it twice. This will be my third time. So from well, August 28th till October 7th is 40 days. And you try that with no sugar, boy, or no drugs, or no alcohol. Clean living at its best. Or is it? Well, these videos could get a little boring. Not that they're all not boring, but anyway. I'm going to do 40 days with no drugs, no sugar, no alcohol, and clean, honest living. And every day I'm going to read a page out of this little book to keep me going. I need something to keep me going. I don't know why I do this to myself. Why? 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 All for you, Lord, and for myself. All right, as always, I want to thank you again for coming on with me with the Purpose Driven Life Little Book Adventures. You know the drill. Peace, love, oh, and all that hippie jazz. Bye-bye, everybody.